with all these travel teams, it's watered down. And I think college coaches don't, un, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal now to make a travel team. You know, and, and, you know, again, 20 years ago, if you made the travel team, you could tell a college coach that and they'd be salivating because um, they knew exactly what that meant. Now they don't really know what that means. Everyone's playing travel ball. Um, you have to find a way to make the travel experience work for you. And to think that you can get on a travel team, and you've got probably a tournament schedule. All right. How many tournaments you guys playing? Seven. Seven, seven. seven tournaments over the summer. All right. You got to get the schedule to college coaches. All right. You, you have, that's the most important thing. To, to make the travel team experience worthwhile from a recruiting standpoint is to make sure that in your recruiting packet, and we'll talk about what the recruiting packet is and how to create one, send your schedule to a college coach. When a college coach comes to a tournament, and I've seen it, I've been to these tournaments, they got a clipboard and they got names of guys that they want to see. Um, if you're not on that list, um, they're not watching you. And people don't just get on that list, they get on that list from contacting, you know, the people to come see them and stuff like that, you don't just magically get on that list. It's it's from you reaching out to them that they're coming. And then they're gonna look for other people there as well, but they're focusing on the people that reached out to them. 